Hi, and welcome to APU Cool Tools. My name is Dante Cordova. And I'm Michael Johnston. And this is a show where we talk about the cool tools that we like to use. They can be apps, extensions, whatever. So today we have an update for uh, a tool that we introduced a little while ago. It's called, or it was called Readability. It is now called Mercury Reader. Tell us about it. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. It's a little bit more streamlined. So you had a few more options with Readability. Uh, you could send it or like you could send the article you were reading to a uh, device, but now it's just purely streamlining the web page, uh, changing the font size, removing ads, and uh, allowing you to see graphics uh, more easily. And so it's just a lot simpler, but it's basically the same program. Okay. Do we know what website URL? We're going to put that in the uh, show notes? Yeah, we'll put it in the show notes, and uh, it's just a Chrome extension. So. Hello and welcome to this session of Cool Tools where we will be looking at the Chrome extension Mercury, Mercury Reader. It used to be called Readability, but they recently made a few changes. So the first thing you want to do is go up to the top right and then go down to More Tools and click on Extensions. You'll be scrolling all the way down to the bottom left and you'll click on More Extensions. Uh, you can search for Mercury Reader and it should be the first option that pops up. Just go ahead and click Add to Chrome. It'll want a little permission to read and change data on websites. You can click Add Extension. In the top right, it'll appear. You'll have a little shortcut. And so let's go to a web page just for example. Let's look up the Pacific Ocean Wikipedia. There's a first option, you can click on that and it'll load and it's a bright white screen with pictures and uh, various text and all this good stuff. If you should be familiar with Wikipedia, it's pretty popular. And for Mercury, Mercury Reader, you just go up to the top right, you'll click on it and it'll want you to, it'll, it'll give you a little information. It used to be called Readability, now it's called Mercury Reader. And you can just go ahead and click Start Using Mercury Reader. And what it's done is it's condensed it. There's a little bit of uh, stretching of the graphics sometimes, but all the graphics that were on that page are still here. It's uh, much more organized, just one column that you can look through. And if you scroll back to the top, there's a little gear, and it gives you a few options. Just uh, three simple options. You can change the text size to be small, medium, or large. Uh, you can also go to the to the type of font, which is their serif and their sans. So really, whatever your preference is there. And there's also uh, an option of two themes. I prefer to read on the dark theme. It uh, makes the screen dark and not so bright, like you're staring at a light bulb. And that's really all there is to it. And as you can see, it's uh, much more condensed, not nearly as spread out. All the hyperlinks still work, so you can click on that and you'll uh, be redirected to that page, at which point you'd have to re-click readability. And again, and it remembers your settings if you wanted a uh, large, sans, dark, and that's really all there is to it. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you find some use out of it. Okay. So anyway, just to let you guys know that it's no longer readability, it is now Mercury. Mercury Reader. Mercury Reader. With that, we will say see you later. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified of new videos that get posted daily, weekly, very soon. And um, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down or leave us a comment if you have any questions or if you have any other cool tools that you want to recommend to us. And with that, we'll say see you. Bye. Bye.